Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to Dishonored 2. Okay, so we made it through uh, the kind of little opening initial segment of this game. Um, we had to slaughter quite a few guards uh, in the in the sake of um, getting out of our, our temporary imprisonment. And we were looking for our secret passage, which we did find. And now we got to go see what's in it. Hopefully, getting our magic powers. In here after the plague. As I was saying, hopefully, getting our magic powers back in the process. Um, because right now, I feel like we're just kind of uh, a half-formed person in this game. This could be handy. We'll get to the reading here in a second. We know how much reading there is. Oh. Mask and pistol. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? They're gonna remember. Look at this with like face on it. Teeth in it, I mean. Okay, so we've got... Oh, this is gonna be another whole reading-centric episode. I forgot how much reading was in these games. <laughs> I apologize. Already I apologize for all the reading that must occur. We'll look around and then we'll hit everything. We want to make sure we get all the, the real stuff first. We're good on health. Anything in the sink? No. That's a, that's a big drain in the sink. Okay. I really do hope I don't have to go through this with no powers. The outsider's got to come back to us again at some point. Can I just open this? The reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. <laughs> Can you imagine? Your reserves are just two giant blocks of gold. That's hilarious. Oh, I don't get that either. Is that literally the entire wealth of the Imperial? Like, that's it? Oh, look, this is her paintings from before when she was being taunted by the Pendletons. And, uh, that's just a description of where to get the good old whale oil. Okay, so it looks like we got some, uh, got some light, uh, heavy reading to do. Oh, there's some gold just laying around. What the point of the safe, then? <laughs> it's just like four blocks of it just laying on the floor. Okay, whatever. You're the one in charge of the Empire, not me. Emily, is that her seeing us? Again, I'm curious as to the, how that all plays out. Ooh, ooh, what's that? Samuel Beechworth made this. Wonder what advice he would have about today. Um, seeing as you killed him last time? Uh, nothing helpful. Oh my goodness, Corva Atano, the Royal Protector in Our Times, Part 1. His parents were older at the time of his birth, and his father died in a lumber accident outside the city when Corvo was still young. Around that time, his only sibling, a firstborn sister, moved away to Morley, and the family subsequently lost all contact with her. Only 16, Corvo dazzled the people of Karnaka when he entered and won the annual Blade Verbena. The spectators from all over Circonos were thrilled to see someone so young and striking working uh, from a working class family advance through the duel after duel, eventually taking the prize. This unexpected outcome secured Corvo a junior officer ranking in the Grand Circonan Guard. As a soldier, he was involved in a number of conflicts against organized criminal groups, rogue city-states within Circonos, and pirate bands along the chain of islands radiating east from Circonos. Sent from his homeland at the age of 18 by the Duke of Circonos, then Theodonus Abel, father of Luca Abel, Corvo was assigned to serve the Emperor in Dunwall as a diplomatic gift. His Circonan heritage made him a bit of an outsider in Dunwall, but the capital city must have seemed exotic and full of old world mystery. A few months after he moved to Dunwall, it is recorded that Corvo received word that his mother had passed away several weeks after his departure from Karnaka. So we're going to get all this backstory that we never had from the first game. Interesting. 
Letter from Wyman. Emily, I didn't want to wake you this morning, but you'll forgive me since we must have said goodbye a hundred times yesterday night, and the only chance I get to see you with your hair all... I get to see you with your hair all which... Oh, okay, that, sorry. The way that's written is strange. Um, it didn't seem like those two sentences went together. And the only chance I get to see you with your hair all whichever way is while you're asleep. As soon as the sun rises, you'll put on your empress face. It makes me happy that I know your real face and the one that laughs at our silly rhymes. I don't want to go back to Morley, but I'm needed there. It'll be four months before we see each other again. I'll miss you. And yes, I'll bring you some white leaf tobacco for your hookah. Lord Covor, if you're reading this letter as per your royal protector functions, know that I am joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden in Gristle. <laughs> Take care, my darling Emily. Don't go falling from a rooftop. I love you. Wyman. So, she was betrothed. I'm assuming betrothed based on how political marriages tend to work. Um, Whispers from the Void by Bernoli Mulani. It says two. I don't know what that's from. Uh, treatise on the physical existence of that foreign realm. Excerpt. These little glimpses of the void in dreams or described by those awoken from comas are not limited to a select few. In my interviews, I've gleaned that there is not a single citizen without such visions at one time or another. This, then, must be a real place, not folklore or mass delusion. Perhaps it exists deep below the earth, or far above it. Perhaps it is right next to us, but hidden. Some trick of the light or wondrous curtain bars us from fully knowing it. And we all but wait for a natural philosopher to unlock the phenomenon, to show us how to see it at will. But when so revealed, it will not be a fearsome place any longer. Not the distant and special realm described in the myth of the outsider. It will be strange, yes, even unsettling. But nonetheless, it will be a new realm for us to explore and eventually conquer. What new treasures await us there? Are the lakes made of liquid diamond? The clouds of weightless silver gas? And what things would we learn? Oh, I should have read this one first. That's what it means by one and two. Okay. Whispers from the Void by Bernoulli Mulani. Treatise on the Physical Existence of the Foreign Realm excerpt. It is a common story. A person has stopped breathing, pinned under carriage wheels or some other tragic happenstance, and it is thought to be dead. But when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. But nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us, lost to the world itself. And what did they experience while in this temporary death? Darkness? Nothingness? No, indeed not. They tell us, as so many before have, that they were in a particular place and can describe it vividly. And who among us does not know the place? Have we not all seen it in our dreams? This place we share in the farthest reaches of our minds? The realm where nothing makes sense, where one is at, both once, uh, at once both lost and at home. The Void. Okay, okay. Didn't have to be read back to back, but we got it. All right. Bone Charms. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions in Scrimshaw. Bone Charms. A sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from salty dogs to young greenhorns still finding their sea legs. In old times, sailors cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of the bears that roam the islets north of Tivia. Once the whaling trade began, the practitioners began engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing, sing in the night and grant some small boon, increasing a lover's vigor or providing defense against pregnancy. Birth control bones. Interesting. <laughs> Crown killer strikes again. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of em Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Uh, I think we read I that already. I suspect the crown killer is connected to Delilah's coup. All right. Is this... All right, I have my gun. How do I pull it out? I don't know how to equip the gun yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. We're all set. Go to Dunwall Streets. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Ooh, look at this. It's the Pendleton triplets. I killed uh, all three of you. 
Probably shouldn't laugh about that, but it is kind of funny. I really love how much of the style they kept, yet it has this just wonderful new sheen on everything. All right, Tower of Dunwall, excerpt from a historical examination of Dunwall Tower. For over a century, Dunwall Tower has been the capital of the Isle of Gristol and the seat of power across the, all, all the Isles of the Empire. Rulers have come and gone, each adding something to the structure. Gardens, observatories, new walls, pools, and specialized interior chambers to suit their needs and whims. Dunwall Tower has withstood numerous wars, several large-scale fires, and the collapse and rebuilding of the Northern Wing. With Tivy and Circonos joining the Empire first, it was Morley that resisted the longest. Some of the conflicts that arise also necessitate the further fortification of the tower. Repeated assassination attempts near the end of the conflict with Morley resulted in the creation of the Royal Protector position, with each ruler choosing his or her own Royal Protector after careful consideration. Empress Jessamine Caldwin, excerpt from a book on the late Empress. Perhaps in retrospect, other historians will see how easy it was for us to fall into the trap set by the schemers who managed the assassination of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. By allowing them to write history, it was for years thought that her trusted protector, Corvo Otano, was also her murderer, a concept we now know to be utterly false. Yet even after the tricksters themselves were put down, banished or imprisoned, it remained, oh no, they were put down, every last one of them, it remained common knowledge that the royal protector was also Jessamine's murderer. How nicely they arranged history for us, and how readily we devoured their stories, hungry for each perfectly cooked morsel. But it is well past time for us to set aside this plate of lies. The schemers were not to be trusted with the empire, or with Jessamine's life, and they are certainly not to be trusted with the writing down of accurate histories. Schemers are pretty much not trusted for anything. Uh, that's why they're schemers. Yes, let's close that, please. Why is there a random toilet in the storage hallway? I'm gonna peek. It's probably fine, but I'm gonna peek anyway. Okay, we're good. We're good. Nobody's out here. I've got to get out of Dunwall. Ooh, we're on the rooftops. I guess he said that, but I, I wasn't uh, thinking about it. Look at that, man. Look at the city. That's a much more imposing looking city than we had before. I don't before. know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. Oh, so that's where we want to go? Oh, we've got guys on the docks for sure. That's where we were headed, the docks. Okay, um, let's find a way to get down there that isn't going to get us killed. Since we know that we don't have our blink ability right now. Oh, to the streets. Oh, we, so there's probably not a way down there just flat out. We're going to have to go roundabout. What do I have to do to get Emily back? What do I have to become? Uh, same thing you were last time, I'm going to say. That's the plan, anyway. Look at it leaking whale oil. I don't want to waste a bullet, but I wondered if you shot it, if it would explode. Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, well. Yep. You're not fit for that watch uniform. None of you are. We're going to take as many of you out of it as we can. That was pretty good. He was like hiding right underneath. You were kind of in eye shot just by... Just by making your way in there. Okay. What's the best the city's thing to do crawling with the Duke's men. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it. We've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. So these are the guards. I wonder if they're just like 
hired, you know, conscripted soldiers or something. More bullets, please. Oh, am I full on ammo already? Okay. Stay ready. I want you in place just after the Duke and our new Empress make their appearance. Things will happen fast. Do your part and there's a share of the spoils for you and the others. Turn on me now and I'll ask the Duke to send his assassin after your dear old parents. Trust me, the so-called crown killer is the last dinner guest you want in your home. Mortimer Ramsey. So I mean, obviously we knew it wasn't us, but now we know it's a, a hired thug by Mortimer Ramsey, whoever he is. Holy crap! Okay. What did I get? Suck. One useless suck. Wow, they all kind of like looped back around. Sure. He's still as mumbly as ever. Alright, let's get this guy up here with the other scrubby corpses. See if we can find a way around where we can get a an eye on these guys. Because right now we're kind of in a weird spot. Alright, he's going back down. That's the conscripted soldier. Oh, there's the other guard. Someone cut a nice little spot out in the hedge for us. You sit right here. Oop, nope, nope, nope. He didn't actually see us. He just got a glimpse of something. We need to take all these guys out so we don't get spotted on the way. Okay. All right, all right, there we go. We got some leeway as far as what we're able to see now. Attention Dunwall citizens. Attention Dunwall citizens. This is today Delilah Baldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah, first of her name. Further, Corvo Atano is now wanted for treason. Who is talking? Any of you found harboring the royal protector will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's get you out of here before you call for help. Ooh, that was close. Please tell me I can get you from behind this wall. Hello? What was that? What? Huh? What is going on here? Stop! Uh. Ah. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Alright. Luckily, they're not pulling like every single guard in the vicinity when I get spotted. That's a that's an upside. Gives me a chance to be a little bit sneakier. We're going to be as sneaky as we can, but we're not too worried about being spotted. I just would rather not fight the whole bloody armed forces if I have a chance. You turning around yet? There you go. Oh crap. Nope, there's another one. 
Who's this guy? You're not gonna tell on me, right? You look like you can take care of yourself. Darn right I can. So it's okay. The Caldwins have finally fallen. Never thought I'd see the day. It seems so. And even the legendary Corvo Atano couldn't stop it. There's money to be made on it. Shh. We shouldn't be talking about this. Until later, yeah. then. You have to understand. I'm going to call for help if, if you don't go. Ooh, what's that? Note to Beasley. You've come this far with me, Beasley. Don't get clammy feet now, man. Delilah is our rightful empress, or will be soon, I promise. And the Duke will make sure we're properly compensated for our part in orchestrating this little coup. I have men across the city watch, and let's just say certain stubborn Emily Caldwin supporters are being arrested even as I pin this note. On top of that, the Duke will be bringing over a hundred from the Grand Guard. Now do your part, and shred this note as soon as you've read it. Put it down the toilet, Mortimer Ramsey. It's not really a down the toilet, been um, busy. Gotta find a ship. You guys use chamber pots, so down the toilet is just in a bowl somewhere, covered in feces. Oh. Alright, so. Guard was here, where did he go? Can oh. I read? Of course I can read, but who does he think? I'm stupid? I know all my letters, and then some. The whole thing. And who's got to clean it up? You, of course. As always. All right. I'll be damned! Who said that? That lady. Huh? She'll be damned, what? but... Is that you still? I can't do anything for you. you you'd better That's... run. Okay. Just don't call the cops or we're fine. I don't want to have to take you out. Ooh, look at all the fish chunks. Fish chunks, fish chunks, no, no, no. roly poly fish chunks. Okay. Any more food would be nice. Road is blocked by order of the city watch. Blocked? What am I supposed to do now? This is my concern, citizen. I'd advise you to return to your home. That's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me. You don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. Oh, the mattresses. Nice. Nice. It's like they set that up or something. <laughs> People of Dunwall. Aiding a fugitive is now punishable by death. Aid the city watch in this time of transition. This is so much fun. Sneaking through. Do I get some stuff over here? No. Oh, yeah. Copper wire. Copper wire was a big deal in the first game. Every laying everywhere. Just copper wire for miles. <laughs> okay. We got corpses, but no guards. Uh, I see a fire, so maybe we got some more rat skewers to eat. <gasps> no. Oh, well. Ooh, whale, whale oil? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We gotta get a, an upgrade that lets him pick up these bodies faster. A little slow on the draw there, Corvo. We're making our way through pretty decently. Oh. Yep, I say that and then I get spotted. Barely spotted, but spotted nonetheless. I do not like those alarms. Turn around. Okay, you go away. I don't need to kill you. Not yet, anyway. 
Alright, I want to get out there, but it looks like I should be able to do it through a roundabout method. Whoa, that's a little too roundabout. You're supposed to stab him, not just nick his kneecaps. Should I swim out there? Seems like I should, but who's who's standing here? These cars don't drop as much as they used to. Okay, can we get to the boat without getting eaten by fish? Remember, there's a lot of fish eaters. All right, rescue the ship, so, Captain. There's some kind of shit storm happening here in Dunwall. The old man's been carried off to who knows where, and I'm out of money for any more operations. Just great. Okay. So, we are here. We got a nice little checkpoint. Get into the boat. We're going to go ahead and stop, and we will jump on the ship and save the captain what next time. To do? Something's going on at Dunwall Tower all across this cursed city. We're Where going to save you. you. I'm right here. You just got to hold on for just a day or so, okay? Just a day or so, and we'll be there. All right, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you come back for the next episode. Past all these uniformed assholes and get into the tower myself. No, no, hush. I still have it left in me. Shh. We'll be there soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.